This is John from PV Nation. I am here at Gateway Paintball Park in St. Louis on their Hyperball field to show you the new Die DSR paintball gun. This gun should be coming out this week at the Paris World Cup and should be available worldwide soon after. I just wanted to go through the gun, open it up, show you how it's packaged, show you it's shooting, and give you some of my first thoughts on it. Just a sleeve and then a hard form die case. The M2 comes with something similar. Let's open it up. Oh, already there's something I like. That holds pieces in a little bit better than some of Dai's other cases. The gun doesn't just, can't fall out. It's held in pretty well, but I know you don't care about that. I know right away you guys want to actually see the new DSR. We'll put the barrel on it here in a second. but I wanted to give you a look. Boot it up. Show you how it sits. And then put the barrel on it, and give you guys a better look at the whole thing. So many things right away. One, the grip. It's a good size. It's comfortable. It's got the traditional die ultralight frame. It's got a new push button style bolt release. Uh, the whole gun, this is the blackout gun for obvious reasons. Uh, that's just a good looking colorway. Uh, there are no external screws showing. So there's nothing that's not streamlined on this particular gun. That's, that's a beautiful gun. All right, so let's go through some of the immediate things I see about the DSR. The fit and finish. The gun is very sleek. It's very subdued. There's not a lot of badges. There's not a lot of bling on it. Uh, it looks almost a little bit rugged. It looks tough. I've talked to the engineer and he said that one of the things behind the styling is that they were inspired by modern American muscle cars. And honestly, I can see it. The die barrel, this isn't a, it doesn't look like it's a full boomstick. Uh, might be just a new model for, that comes just with the DSR. Uh, traditional die tip. There's no external screws, but you can see at the bottom of the front grip, the battery release. It's got the typical die airport, uh, only I am told that this one actually purges, so you don't have to shoot a shot to clear it. It's got a new style of trigger, it looks like, and just comes out of the box kind of on the light side. So let's put it together and shoot it. All right, I grabbed a set of the new die switch goggles. It's actually the first time I've had them on and pretty comfortable goggles. Uh, the new, relatively new LTR hopper, the stripped down rotor basically, and the trusty ninja tank. And you're gonna actually get to see the first shots ever put through this gun. Airs right up. Incredibly smooth, very easy to shoot. Uh, I'm told, yep, the bolt is air locked, so when there's air in it, you can't push the push button, you can't pull the bolt out, so nothing goofy can happen. I've got it on NXL mode right now, so let's shoot it a little more, see how it does. And ran it completely dry, maybe. Three balls left in it, two balls left in it, one, 
no balls left in it. No bar barrel breaks, no problems, no issues at all. Let's try a little bit more paint. What should we shoot? About close first. Oh, turn the hopper back on. And again, shooting all the way through the hopper. No problems, no issues, no breaks whatsoever. We're shooting uh, Empire Paint, Ultra Evil. This is their yellow break orange, obviously. Let's jump on the other side here. And let's switch up the color a little bit. I've got some red. This is also made by GI Sports under the Empire brand. This is more ultra evil, but I think this stuff breaks yellow. You can already see by the hyperball tubes just the spray of the orange. This paint actually marks really well. Gun's very smooth. Shoot a little bit towards the camera. Gun's very quiet, very smooth. Let's depressurize it and actually look at the bolt. Oh, the bolt is very obviously not like the M2 bolt. This is a whole new bolt design by Die. It's called the Arc bolt. And it's a push button. In fact, you can just look right through the gun, possibly, depending on if I have it lined up right. hard with the tank obviously but bolt goes right in no issues it's gas back up gas is right back up I like the purge in the new airport that definitely helps let's uh let's play with the settings and shoot it some more all right let's take it to profile two which I set up for semi And then see how it does. Obviously, I need some practice shooting semi. It's been a long time. Still, really quick, really easy to shoot. Let's try some other settings. The DSR was designed from the ground up. This isn't a slim down M2. This isn't a rehash of any sort. This is a completely new gun. The solenoid was made from the ground up. The bolt kit is something that is an all new design that hasn't been on the market before. The, uh, the internal operating pressure is 115 PSI. This is a gun that's built for performance. 
but still is not incredibly expensive. Uh, I would not be surprised to see some of the Ironmen shooting it at World Cup. Uh, it's a really cool gun. I'm looking forward to seeing how it does. Another thing is when you hold the gun, even if you hold it low or have really big hands, see how far away you are from that button? Even if you hold the gun low, low you're never really close to the button and the button's so far recessed, you're not gonna accidentally punch it anyway. All right, so I put the DSR on full auto and let's see how it goes. It's gonna probably have the three safety shots first. So we'll see. Bang, bang, bang. All right, now let's do it faster. Oh, there we go. And that was everything. So full auto, NXL mode, semi, two different profile settings so you can have a bunch of settings all saved whether you want it to be what you're ready for winter or rec ball you can have your woods ball settings so you have 5.5 balls per second semi and then nxl so when you go play air ball man it's a beast of a gun i believe the price is going to be 900 bucks ready to go i have one last hopper of evil Let's take it to the other profile. It's that fast to switch it back to NXL mode. And then let's shoot this. Oh, hop on. So I have one more test for the DSR. I played the NXL Chicago event this last weekend. And we had three different kinds of paint. Two of them were very brittle in different players' guns on the team. So we're gonna try and shoot them and see how they do. Not a single break. No issues at all. Let's try another kind. Again. Not a single ball break. Plane. So the DSR passed with flying colors. Shot really well. Uh, another thing I wanted to point out is that you can grab the gun really low and shoot it just because of the way that they've built that ASA at the front. But a couple of things that come with the gun. Uh, USB connectors so you can upgrade the software on the board without having to send it in. Colored O-rings so uh, you know which O-rings go where in the gun. And then wanted to show you the battery release. It's got a lock and unlock, and I just grabbed a nickel, turn, and slip it right off, pull out the battery. Put it back together, make sure that the wire is in place, slide it back in, and then same thing. I'm just using a nickel here, and it makes a very positive click when it's locked back in. 
somebody could probably use their thumbnail. I do not have strong enough thumbnails, so there's no way I'm gonna try that. But, super easy battery release. Uh, let's see, DSR, fantastic little gun. Very smooth. Oh, one more thing. It has the, the eye pipe that people are used to out of DM guns. Very easy to pull out and clean. Very easy to reinstall. The new DSR from Dive. It should be available this weekend at the Paris World Cup and then should be available worldwide right after. Awesome little gun. I'm looking forward to shooting it a lot more. I'm told a lot of good things about the Arc Bolt, about how reliable it is. Obviously only shot a couple hundred rounds so it's hard to see exactly how reliable it is but I'm looking forward to it, uh, to seeing how it holds up. And the whole gun uses only three different Allen wrenches to take it all apart. So the DSR from Die.